Leadership Through Action Award. Nancy and Greg Peters. The dangerous work of fighting fires is often more than a job to these crews, it's a calling. And for Greg and Nancy Peters, it's also where romance sparked years ago. I liked her right off the bat, you know, but I couldn't let it be known. They met in the fire reserves. Greg, a lieutenant, and Nancy was new. She didn't like me, I don't think, because <laughs> I was mean. I made her do her job. <laughs> But just 10 months later, the two married and have shared their love of firefighting for 26 years, even passing it on to their son and daughter. You know, I wake up in the morning and I love going to work. I love doing what I do. I love to help people. Both of them truly have a servant's heart and uh, they love with every ounce of their being. Wendy Tucker has worked with the Peters since 2011, helping them design a firefighter's calendar. The Strength of Kansas features men and women and their tricks to staying healthy. They're not perfectly fit, but they're all at different points in their journey. We've had some guys that have lost 100 pounds. We have had, had a female firefighter who is a cancer survivor. Recent calendars also feature rescue animals with the firefighters. The money raised from selling the calendars funds several projects. The first, buying coats for kids in the winter. The actual passing out of the coats, it's just very heartwarming to see those families and, and the kids get so excited about a new pair of mittens or a new pair of of a new code or something like that. Another favorite is fire camp. When sixth through ninth graders learn what it's like to be a firefighter, the kids get to spray hoses, do a water rescue, rappel with ropes, and learn CPR. There's a medical side of firefighting that's really critical too that students need to learn and a lot of students just aren't aware of that. For some of them, this fun day turns into a career. Several of the kids that have gone through fire camp later on went through fire science programs and have become firefighters, so that's pretty cool. Eventually, Greg and Nancy Peters turned their volunteer work into a nonprofit, Kansas Firefighters Alliance. They expanded their mission to warn of increasing dangers, like the rising suicide rate among first responders. The stuff that we see out there is, uh, it's devastating to people. And we put on a good front that we're macho and that nothing's going to destroy us but yet at the same time, it's eating us alive inside. So KFA sponsored a suicide prevention class and brought in a speaker to teach first responders and their families how to spot the warning signs and get help. Another threat to firefighters is cancer, often caused by the smoke and soot they're covered with. Only now are many firefighters realizing the dirty helmets and gear that used to be a badge of honor are making them sick. The same man that inspired me from the time I was a little girl um, died of cancer um, and was affected by the very things that we represent now. Even Greg himself is affected. Working on the hazmat team at this county fire station, his annual physical found bladder cancer. So it was very early detection. So I was lucky in the sense that we got it right away. But he wants the next generation of firefighters to take precautions, like using decontamination wipes. KFA buys them for fire departments across the state so crews can clean their skin right after a fire. As soon as I pull all the gear off and stuff, I go right to the truck, I get the stuff off my skin, and then we go back and finish up the job, whatever it needs to be. Setting the example and using his ordeal to educate others. What an awesome opportunity, looking at the silver lining, what an awesome opportunity for Greg to be in the position that he is with the department and with this organization, that he has that voice, that he can, he can spread that word a lot easier too. Greg and Nancy hope the Kansas Firefighters Alliance can help many more people in the future, yet they're surprised to win an award for their work. My first response was, I think you got the wrong couple. To be recognized for doing what I love to me is just, I don't know, it's, it's tough to, to grasp that. Humbling, he says, because helping firefighters with this firefighter by his side is its own sweet reward.